Hi guys, it's Igor. Probably you saw our review about 2019 Honda Ridgeline and today we would like to show you previous generations. It's the first generation of Honda Ridgeline which is built particularly this model in 2013. The first generation of Honda Ridgeline was produced from 2005 until 2014. In 2005 they started to make a 2006 model and it was like one of the most interesting I think, Honda on the market ever built. First of all, why? Because it's the first Honda truck which ever was produced on the US market. And second thing is because it's only one pickup truck even now with fully independent suspension. What does it mean if you have independent suspension? This means that you drive not a truck, you drive like a regular car and this means that this car gonna, I mean, kick ass of any other truck on the road by handling. The first generation of Honda Ridgeline has a 3.5 liter V6 engine with 250 horsepower, which is less than current generation. Also difference between like current generation on Ridgeline and first generation, it's a, a transmission. Current generation uh, Ridgeline has six speed automatic transmission. This one has five speed automatic transmission. A lot of people think that the Honda Ridgeline is a pickup based on Honda Pilot. Uh, but I would say in Honda says the same, that it's like a completely different car. It just looks similar, but totally new car. Honda Ridgeline has pretty nice uh, ground clearance, 20.8 inch. When car magazine as motor trend or car and drive and compare other mid-size uh, pickup trucks uh, on the market to Honda Ridgeline, they found out that Honda Ridgeline lost only in two categories. There's a uh, towing capacity and carrying capacity. All other categories was one or maybe like one of the best place which you can get from the car. It's like safety is the best one, it's handling the best one, it's acoustic comfort is the best one, like everything almost the best one c compared to any other pickup trucks, only like towing capacity less and the carrying capacity less. But guys, let's be honest, how many of us like use full towing capacity for mid-size truck? If you really want to like bring your boat to the ocean, you can get something like, I don't know, <laughs> Ford 350 or something even bigger. Also, off-road capability, not the best one, but the ground clearance is pretty nice. It's 20.8 inch which is allow you to go through the some pretty bad area but if you're gonna put nice old terrain tires and uh, press your vtm4 button and start to use your vtm4 transmission in this case this car would be pretty nice on uh, off-road honda works a lot on aerodynamic of this car and uh, one of the things which you can see this it's vortex generation on a mirror they put this by the reason to reduce the uh, noise from the mirror because the mirror is pretty wide and big uh, to be able to see something behind of your big trailer but guys to be honest maybe they fix the noise from the mirror but only one place where i really hear the noise it's around this place uh, when you're driving the car i don't know if it's mirror or this uh, pillar but i think something wrong <laughs> like they should work a little bit more during the production of this car another thing where honda work with aerodynamic is the hood they put aluminium hood and they cover by this hood the windshield wipers and another thing which they do really well that because they put a heated electrical heater for front uh, windshield wipers and also because they cover by hood it's always in the warm nice place hot air coming from under the hood your heater for your windshield behind this wipers and also electrical heat wipers usually on this car works very very well Honda Ridgeline equipped with a 3.5 liter V6 engine, which is like you can see everywhere in any like six cylinder Honda's uh, car. It's like MDX, it's Pilot, but for Ridgeline they make this engine it's more heavy duty. They put, for example, a more heavy duty radiator to cool down your engine faster. They put 160 watt uh, coolant fan, both of them, which is good and uh, cool down your engines much faster during the towing. They put a little bit different transmission which uh, again like more heavy duty and they add additional cooler for transmission fluid for also for power steering they add the uh, additional cooler everything they try to do like more heavy duty for this car honda's engineers understand that this car is supposed to tow some like heavy weight and uh, in this case they're supposed to like put um, uh, torque of this engine on a little bit lower rpm what they finally did and uh, difference how they do this by uh, cold air intake how this works the air goes through the grill then get out from this spot 
and after this get inside the air filter but uh, to be honest they start to tell about this in any advertisement but guys the numbers which they get not really i mean like fantastic they just improve for 300 rpm also engineers of honda synchronized throttle body with the vtm4 all-wheel drive system on honda and uh, how it's work uh, your like well, i mean um, throttle body send signal to your all-wheel drive system and according to how open this uh, throttle body uh, your all-wheel drive system understand how much torque they're supposed to put on the uh, rear wheel and uh, for example if you put a trailer or anything like this you usually get much uh, more torque on a, a rear wheel if you're driving just on regular asphalt road most of the torque on the front wheel compared to toyota with six engine honda is much cheaper to maintain one of the reasons uh, how this happens is because uh, uh, spark plug is much easier place to reach all of them on the top of the engine this one on the left bank and the same situation on the right and you can easily replace spark plugs even by yourself just for one hour if not give it to a mechanic he will charge you no more than one hour if he's honest mechanic in general this engine and this transmission is a, one of the most reliable engine and transmission which honda ever built only one of the advice which i can give you first of all don't use the semi-synthetic oil or regular oil for this car always use only synthetic oil first of all because this agr valve could be clogged in i don't know like after 100,000 miles yes it's not tomorrow but if you're gonna keep it this car for a long time it's definitely happened and also if you're gonna use synthetic oil with a like uh, with, like more harder number not like w 20, as uh, Honda recommended, I would recommend something like 540, 040, 530. In this case, it would be much easier uh, to protect engine during the towing. And the only one thing I believe why Honda reduced number by, by oil uh, hardness is only because they try to reduce uh, gas mileage. The biggest maintenance coming on uh, 100,000 miles on this car is supposed to replace timing belt and the uh, spark plug but as I tell you spark plug is very easy and timing belt uh, it's even easier job compared to water pump on uh, uh, Toyota Highlander for example if you're gonna buy no original it's very easy to replace you don't have to even replace a uh, timing belt and the tensioner could cost you like 40 bucks 70 bucks it depends on the brand and how much is the original I think cost around 70 dollars and again labor would take around the 40 minutes which is I know 60 70 bucks before 100,000 miles the biggest maintenance which you're supposed to do is it's replace oil in transmission and the differential and the replace air filter usually you're supposed to do this each 30,000 miles filter you can do easy by yourself just one recommendation for you is when you're gonna buy this car just remove the air filter and grease these two balls and not even two it's one two I believe it's four of them with some like uh, silver or aluminium contains uh, grease or with uh, like high uh, temperature grease for brakes because most of the time for in states like Massachusetts New Hampshire like in so states where people use salt on the roads these balls start to be very rusty and sometimes you can't unscrew it Honda Ridge line is a completely different car compared to Honda Pilot you can see this by frame you can see this by suspension you can see this by brake first of all what you can see if you're gonna go under the car it's a different control arms for example on Honda Pilot it's aluminum which is means it's less heavy duty compared to Honda Ridge line also it's much more a uh, stronger frame with a couple layers of metal one of them which is more harder one inside uh, is like from more like solid steel also they put something like you see like these four bones one two three some of them here four to increase also hardness of the frame and also don't forget that Honda Ridge line is only one pickup on the market with fully independent suspension also you see this much stronger and heavy duty control arms compared to Honda Pilot and even additional to uh, independent suspension this car equipped with rear stabilizer brake rotors also different on range line compared to pilot it's more heavy duty front of them is vented rotors rear one is solid but for example on rear brakes i would put uh, more bigger brake pads compared to what they have right now 
The brake rotors, for example, if you want to buy them from AutoZone, uh, it depends on the quality which they can propose you, could cost you around $60 or $80 for each rotors. Uh, brake parts it's usually around 30 35 also depends on the quality but from some brands you can buy rotors even for 20 25 dollars but if you're gonna go to some mechanic usually they charge around 350 dollars 320 for brakes and rotors just for brake parts it's usually around uh, 150 140 for the same money as any other uh, trucks you can get built-in trunk and the already pre-wired uh, tow hitch for towing. I just would like to remind you that towing capacity for this car is 5,000 uh, pounds. When you drive Honda Ridgeline with one or two people inside the car, it feels pretty rough on uh, any small bumps. But if you're gonna put at least five people inside, uh, comfort change uh, immediately. Car start to be like more comfortable, but handles worse in this case. I would say my opinion is that Honda Ridgeline uh, I mean, get even better ha handling than Honda Pilot because car without passenger is much lighter and the suspension is more solid. And in this case, you have like much better rollover resistance on this car compared to Honda Pilot. Only one thing which remind you is that you drive truck in this car. First of all, you get, I mean, you sit much higher compared to any other car. And another thing is pretty like big amount turn of a steering wheel from one side to another side and this always reminds us that you're driving a truck not a regular like sedan or anything like this even compact SUV also like huge difference if you ask me difference between Honda Ridgeline 2019 and 2013 it's a noise insulation noise insulation compared to 2015 uh, Honda Ridgeline on this one is much much worse it's re you really feel this especially next to this area you always feel on highway some noise I really like visibility uh, through the windows uh, on the Honda Ridgeline. You get very nice size of mirror. You have like very nice size of uh, windows. But only one complaint about mirrors. Again, like I all never like Honda's mirrors. And even this one without this like space on the left side of a driver mirror looks for me like they use panoramic mirror uh, for regular like driver side mirrors. Back camera is good. But I think as all other Honda's monitors, you need a little bit more brightness. When you jump inside 2013 Honda Ridgeline, you feel yourself yeah, like you get in 90s. And this kind of interior, no matter like how it's look, I really like it. But uh, looks like it's really, really old for everybody, even for 2006 when they just start to build this car. But I think main idea of Honda was to build this interior just to sell all parts from old Hondas which they didn't use on previous model. For example, look at this def air deflector. This looks like Honda <laughs> from 90s, Honda Accord. All these buttons from Honda Odyssey, like early 2000. I believe it was idea to like sell as much as possible parts and looks like Honda don't even care that this like sales of this car was really horrible. They didn't sell much, but I believe they use a lot of old parts which they don't want to <laughs> lost like <laughs> during uh, production. Honda Ridgeline equipped with a, a dual zone climate control, but <laughs> we really think for this car that because this uh, climate control doesn't have a button which can synchronize temperature for front passenger and for driver. Each uh, climate zone is supposed to adjust manually. We can talk a lot about towing capacity, about interior, exterior, reliability of any car, but everything like you can forget about everything when we start to talk about uh, uh, safety and safety on this car is really great for example as you can see they equipped even with a cartoon on a center and the airbag in a driver like which i would say any car has in a steering wheel for front passenger and they have even airbag cartoons in the back for back passenger and when you're gonna read uh, test i mean crash test for this car you will find out there's only one mid-sized truck i would say only one truck in the world who gets the most like amount of stars for any crash test and especially for rollover test you can buy any like i don't know tahoe silverado like ram but no one of them would be the same safe as this car and this is really important the same as honda pilot ridgeline has huge central console and why i like because you can move it in many ways for example you can extend like this and put some 
like very important stuff here especially like dvd or cd disc <laughs> also you can have like special storage over here and finally you can find usb port on 2013 because early models mo models they didn't get this one and also 100 watt power outlet for your laptop for example also double power outlet on that central console with the heated seats small place for some small stuff over here uh, if you want to put your like shopping bag on the central console and the same as an old uh, honda crv you have some storage place uh, on top of the glove box the cover for a passenger airbag on a dashboard looks right now very very old and i know old school but in the same time it's very practical for example if you was not lucky and get an accident it's much easier to rebuild your dashboard and would cost you much less amount of money no matter what i'm gonna tell or told about this uh, dashboard on honda ridge line i really like it really like it i like this design uh, it's hard to find out if one of your air vent is open or closed on honda ridge line because you see you have a spot with a open position or closed position only on left side from from the driver on any other air deflector you don't have this option it's kind of probably luxury for additional payment my favorite idea about designer solution in this car is the handle on the door of course you're gonna use it your traditional mostly but this one looks very very nice and makes this car something i don't know like unusual for this class do you think it's normal for 2013 get the light for your sun visor but for honda ridge line they get this function not on any honda ridge line and not from beginning they put i think something around 2009 another thing about your sunroof to open it you're supposed to do this as on old hondas you press button and it's open you press button and it's closed you're always supposed to hold uh, buttons as on old hondas car equipped with power real windows and compared to any other cars a honda works a lot on aerodynamics and you can open these windows but inside the car would be totally quiet I'm sitting behind myself and my height is 6.1 and I think I have like a little bit less than one inch uh, space between my knees and front seats which is absolutely enough and I think it's like the same like my 2011 Dodge Durango and uh, kids uh, definitely like this car because the uh, rear bench is much higher compared to front one and they can easier even with small size <laughs> look inside the windows and they really like this also i can tell a lot of like good thing about honda's uh, central armrest on the back seat it's the same wide as honda pilot with a uh, two cup holders one cup holders in each door and with of course you can open powerly windows and another thing you can easily put three car seats over here first of all because it's pretty wide car and another thing because it's like convenient even for middle seats they have is a fix uh, brackets and you can put the car seat without any problem here if you plan to put three people on a second row you have middle headrest which you can fold it to get better view through the back window if you look through the back window on honda ridge line you see that line of uh, tailgate is lower compared to side and uh, this uh, honda built especially to increase the uh, view area through the back window the coolest feature for any generation of Honda Ridge line is tailgate. It's double side open tailgate. You can do this traditional way, like this, or you can do this other way. And you're gonna ask me why you why is this even needed? Because it's only one full time, I don't know, first time pickup on the market with integrated trunk. No any other pickup truck can propose you anything like this and again this is like easy to wash plastic trunk which you can fill with the ice with everything with dead deer with a very bad smelling fish and then when it starts to smell really bad you can just wash it with your garden hose open this plug and everything drain on the floor to easy load this uh, trunk bed uh, honda built special guidance but they even special because they build it especially size to put two or one motorcycle like dirt bike you see 
one of the guidance and over here another here and you see like three spots for front tires of uh, dirt bike it's very easy to mount him there and also they put special hooks here which each of them could hold up to 300 pounds uh, dynamically not just hold it and the same about the steel gates for example if you're gonna put here your ATV this is one of the most like I mean strongest tailgate on the market I would say the strongest one which can hold up to 300 pounds also and uh, again it's dynamically it's not just to put this weight here and don't move it the redesigned version on Honda Ridgeline has uh, integrated step for trunk bed and rear bumper also it has an integrated hitch this means also you don't have to spend money on hitch you don't have to spend money on the bed cover you have everything this in your Ridgeline already Honda Ridgeline is only one pickup truck on the market with the already built-in uh, cover for uh, trunk bed, which is built from composite material. It's like completely, I mean, like scratch proof, uh, I don't know, like dent proof and ultra violet proof. It's one of the strongest material on the market which you can choose to build your trunk bed for pickup truck. I completely support the idea to build this kind of car from Honda. Uh, they built really universal car for people who do like active lifestyle when you can use this car as a regular car it, it drives not like suv it drives like just a big car with like normal back seat uh, compared to any other truck with a very like comfortable and the easy to use the trunk space and bed space and the, i don't care how many tow, like pounds you can tow because usually nobody gonna tow more than like i don't know like three thousand pounds or i don't care like i need just convenient vehicle and i really like the idea of this car 